This is Denver 7 On Demand. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. The Adams County coroner identified the two people killed in a Westminster apartment complex fire on Sunday. They say 58-year-old Margaret Kelly from Westminster and 41-year-old Leah Hamill from Florida died in that fire. 14 others were hurt. A donation center to help those displaced by the fire is at Rodeo Market on West 73rd in Westminster. Well, those electric scooters will be whizzing back around Denver on Friday. Denver Public Works approved permits for Lime and four other companies as part of a one-year pilot program. The hope is this would complement Denver's plan to reduce car traffic by 2030. Today in Denver, producers from ABC's The Bachelor are looking for men who are looking for love. They're holding a casting call for the next season of the show. If you're interested, the casting call runs from 4 tonight. It's at the Blue Moon Rhino Brewery in Denver. Producers are expecting up to 500 people to show up. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo. We will be two of those people. Yeah, we we're will. Not, we're not looking for love. We're just out there because it's our job and, you know, we've got to be there. Should be fun, though. It's going to be a beautiful start to our day. But we do have a chance for some thunderstorms this afternoon. So it is another First Alert Action Day. Skies overnight clearing. We had some overnight showers, which made the morning drive wet. Uh, but now we're going to see some drier, warmer conditions with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s by about 12 o'clock. Uh, we'll likely see highs near 80 this afternoon. A few neighborhoods could get a touch warmer, but between 2 and 3 o'clock, those storms will develop here along I-25. And then it looks like by about 5, 530, they should be well off to the east, which would leave us with a beautiful sunset and some pretty nice weather uh, for the late afternoon and early evening commute. Lyman, Burlington, Akron, we could see a few stronger storms, larger hail, damaging winds, and some pockets of heavy rain. Although it looks like the air is a little drier today compared to what we saw yesterday. Overnight tonight, midnight, we still have a few showers up to the northeast near Sterling. So some active weather again for the weekend. Near 80 today. It looks a little warmer and drier on Friday. Just a few isolated storms tomorrow. We should see more active weather Saturday, Sunday, more thunderstorms. But here's I guess the good news, if you want things to dry out, Molly, by the middle of next week, it gets hot again, sunshine, and 93 by Wednesday. All right, looks good. Thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. And check back here later this morning for another update. And download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.